welcome back to Evo build blog number 10. And where the heck are we? All right, I moved. This is a different garage and the Evo isn't even in this garage right now. And why is that? Well, unfortunately that's actually because I got a divorce and Hopefully you've never been divorced and never had to go through any of that, but realistically that put the whole EVO project on hold for the last six months or so, and that is actually why nothing has happened with that uh, in quite a while. However, I am back, the EVO is back, and this blog is not about my personal life. This blog is really just about the EVO itself and building this car. However, I know it was a pretty long hiatus since my last blog. I do appreciate a couple of people kind of reaching out to me, kind of trying to feel out what was taking so long and what was going on. I apologize if I didn't get back to you or if I've been delayed on responding to any messages. Obviously, it's been a hectic time, so I appreciate your patience. So now that all that fun stuff is out of the way, what actually happened with the Evo? Well, since I last talked to you, I pretty much uh, put the exhaust on and topped off all the fluids, got everything as ready to go as I could. And then my buddy Andy Schmettergaard came and picked up the car and brought it to his shop. Let him check it over, let him get it running and uh, check over any mistakes I might have made, which I did make a few mistakes. There were a couple things that he kind of had to do. Uh, he actually had to wire in the stock injectors for me. Uh, just We just wanted to get it running with the stock injectors for now to make sure it would run okay. So he rewired uh, the injectors, put the stock injectors in, and apparently he informed me that realistically after your injectors kind of sit for so long that eventually they kind of um, need to get recharged, I guess. That's probably not even the right word. But uh, basically when you're just trying to crank them for the first time after they've been sitting, they're not getting a lot of voltage. Uh, so he said he kind of had to wake them up uh, so he put some voltage to the injectors, I think just to make them fully open and close um, and get the injectors ready to go. Uh, and that kind of helped get it fired and get it going. And another thing is I must have had a hose ran wrong to my electronic boost controller. He had to make some changes to that to get that fixed. So, you know, nobody's perfect. I made some mistakes along the way, sent it to him. He got those kind of sorted out. And it just kind of took him a while to get the power steering going again and uh, get the fluid flowing through the whole power steering rack. Uh, he said that took quite a long time. Uh, so just something to uh, think about, something to be aware of if you are doing a kind of roller build project like I did. But the awesome news is he got it running. It is running really good. Uh, we just kind of did a quick street tune on it. Uh, he spent some time getting a bass tune, uh, making sure it would run fairly decent. And it is, it's running good. So hooray to my cam swap and uh, cam install video. I did it right, I guess. That's proof that it, it actually runs and is good. So that's awesome. And uh, no transfer case wine, nothing like that. Uh, he also said there was a little bit of oil leaking uh, from the oil pan. And I also didn't install a knock sensor or I thought there was a knock sensor installed and there wasn't. So that was one other minor hiccup that Andy had to deal with um, and take care of. But the Evo is running. I did get to drive it for the first time and it was pretty awesome just to get to drive the car. The external hood dump is really loud. I did not really expect it to be so loud. We'll see if I actually keep that on or not. Another mistake I actually did make is with that external dump, I put in kind of an open uh, gasket for the O2 housing where it bolts on to the turbo. And you do not want an open type gasket for that because realistically what that means is all the exhaust gases can just kind of come right out that O2 dump because uh, there's no block, the gasket's not blocking the divider. So I had to take that gasket out, the open gasket, and then luckily Andy had a gasket there that I could use. I had to modify it a little bit, so I ground it down uh, to kind of port match, match the ports, and then we put that gasket in, and then it was quiet again, basically at idle, so there wasn't air just kind of leaking out of that external hood dump. So that was one other thing that I fixed on it as well. So there's quite a bit to fine tune still with the Evo, but uh, it's really cool to just have this far along to get to drive it. Hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll actually have it back here at my place and be able to drive it. Um, and at that point, what we're gonna have done to it, hopefully by then, is we will have some 1000cc injectors in, and then we'll have a dual tune and we'll have it running on ethanol. So we can 
get a bit more horsepower and uh, just kind of have that flexibility of having a dual tune. So if I can't find ethanol E85, then I can just run some premium gas for a while. So what else has been going on? I did the one lap of America trip again. That was really fun. That was really awesome. Hopefully you saw the teaser video I made for that. If you haven't, please go check it out. I'm gonna do a full length documentary this time. Um, the trip itself was a lot better for me because I wasn't trying to do these same day edits. The same day edits were just a lot of work, a lot of time. It was just very draining. And I realized doing the trip again this time that I kind of missed out on a lot of stuff that I could have been filming last time to show how grueling it was, you know, for the drivers. Um, because instead of kind of filming them coming in and out of the hotels, getting in really late, stuff like that, I was kind of focused on getting my video done for that day. Uh, so I think the end result's gonna be a lot better. I'm very excited. I got a lot of good footage. Spoiler alert, the Evo did have issues again. Unfortunately, it, it was kind of something you could never really plan for. They have a twin disc XD clutch in the one lap Evo, and apparently somehow the bolts that bolt on uh, the fingers that kind of hold the pressure plate in place uh, snapped off. So realistically, all those bolts broke and there was nothing connecting the clutch to the engine. So when they were out on track, they had that issue. And unfortunately, uh, you know, if they went to have that issue and one other issue of a coupler popping off, they kind of did the math and figured they probably would have, could have won the whole thing if that didn't happen. But you can play the game of ifs all day. I mean, that's just part of racing. So the cool thing is they basically got that clutch changed super fast and got back out right on the track right away, did the next session and were, they were the fastest car out after just changing a clutch, literally driving the car right off the hoist and onto the track. Uh, so I give them major credit for doing that. I documented all of it, so that's gonna be in the video. So again, hopefully you guys will check out uh, that video coming out soon. And a little bit more coming up for the Evo. Hopefully I will get it painted soon. It does need paint work. So we're gonna try to get the Evo uh, painted and it's gonna be black, it's gonna stay black, uh, but it does have a blue door right now, which I don't think anyone watching the blog actually knew about until just now. Um, but I might go into more details on that in an entirely separate video. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll get to keep doing some of these informative blogs as I go. Uh, other things that'll come up along the way, issues that I'll fix, things that I'll like, things that I don't like. I still wanna make these informative for you guys. I don't wanna just film myself talking on camera for no reason. That's not the kind of blog I wanna make, um, unless you really enjoy that for some reason. If you just wanna hear me talk about my life, well, not about my life, probably, but I just wanna hear me talk in general. So that's it for Evo Build Blog episode 10, I guess. I apologize again for the six month uh, delay between episodes. It really was obviously not in my plan. But I do appreciate all my viewers. I do appreciate everyone watching this. It, numbers don't matter to me. It could be one, it could be a million. You know, I just appreciate all you people watching. I appreciate everyone commenting, trying to help me get this done. And, uh, you know, I just like the support. I want the Evo community, the car community, you know, to stay together uh, and to work together. And, you know, back to the one lap thing, that's really what the one lap trip is really all about. These people work together so well. Um, it's a great story, so I'm really excited to get to editing that video, and I should be doing that right now, honestly, but uh, what I, I really did want to update the blog, I just unfortunately couldn't really do that until all my divorce stuff was final, uh, so once that was finalized, and it just got finalized less, pretty much a week ago, so now here I am back on camera again, making this video to let you guys know where I am with uh, the Evo build, and uh, what's uh, coming ahead, so. As always, thanks for watching.